six. <laughs> the day before that was 50, I believe. Um, this is important, and what we're going to do with this Restoring Freedoms is take this on tour uh, around the state of New Jersey. Everybody in the inner cities and suburban areas, especially poor and working class and struggling, needs to hear this message. Uh, this message is not being heard. And, you know, days of the yes we can and change we can believe in is kind of over. And uh, those little quotes and what the other political parties are doing to the inner cities is a shame. And we look at the problems that we have, education, crime, uh, jobs, illegal immigration. All these things are hurting the inner city areas, whether you're Spanish, black, or white. You're poor, you're focusing, it's, 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 it's terrible. And we got to be like Martin Luther King said, that no lie, no lie can live forever. And what's happening is this lie in the inner cities is living forever and is destroying the people in the inner cities more crime, more prisons, and we have to do something about this. We can no longer, as conservatives or independents, liberty, freedom, constitutional people, individuals, no, we can no longer stand by and watch this foolishness happen in the inner cities, whether they're black, white, or Hispanics. Something has to be done, and I think that restoring freedoms and all the speakers, this is a start. And we can have a, the idea was to have a tour in the inner cities. Starting, you're looking at starting sometime in March, and touring Newark, Camden, Jersey City, Elizabeth, uh, Woodbury, all these individual areas where are struggling, people are struggling, they don't know anything about the Constitution, they don't know anything about liberty, but they know that something has to change. And if you look in Camden and, and Newark, this had a ride in Newark a few months ago inside the uh, City Hall, people are upset about what's happening in their state, in their cities. And the Democrats, and both some, and there are some Republican groups that have, uh, are afraid to go into these areas. But we cannot be afraid. And uh, if we stand strong, uh, this message will be stay, will stand strong within these areas. And uh, hopefully that you come out, Tea Party people, Campaign for Liberty, Libertarians, uh, all different organizations that stand with freedom and come out on these individual days that we do this tour. And it's so important. We can, no, we can no longer be afraid to go into the inner city areas, and, and that's why we have this problem. There are people who are saying that, you know, um, when I go into these areas, especially, you know, where are the people about freedom? We're suffering here. And uh, the Democrats, especially, have been controlling Trenton, Camden, and Newark, big time areas, and all you see is more violence as a talk about failure of education, no longer we accept 50 to 60 percent dropout rate. I mean, it's terrible. A dropout rate of 50 to 60 percent of our young kids. And there's some parts of the suburbs. The kids are failing. They know nothing about the Constitution. I asked this one kid, uh, do you know who was the president before uh, George Bush? And he said Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> I mean, this, I mean, this is how these kids are thinking. And, and, and they're thinking both black and white suburban in the city. You know, they're watching the foolish television shows.